You know, if you had to pick the quintessential Canadian actor, there's no doubt that Paul Gross's name would get mentioned. Uh, now, for a lot of you, you first heard about him when he played the Mountie on television. I am perfectly capable of handling myself in any situation. Oh, I am a Mountie. But that was a long time ago, and now he's put Canada's war experience on film with all the power of a Hollywood feature. So here is Mr. Gross's story. Uh, born in Calgary, Alberta, grew up an army brat. Uh, his family moved around a lot. Canada, England, Germany, America, and then finally back to the true north, strong and free. He actually studied drama at the University of Alberta. Then in 1985, he made his acting debut. It was a small film called Turning to Stone. From there, he got a gig on a CBC miniseries, Chasing Rainbows. And then perhaps you may recall this. He landed a role with Canada's favorite bumbling handyman, Red Green. In 1994, Paul's career took a huge jump. He got the role of Benton Fraser, a straight-laced RCMP officer on the aforementioned Due South. That show was one of the first Canadian series to earn a primetime spot on American network television. Now there's a country that knows what to export. Absolutely. Now for a lot of people, the next natural step is to move to Hollywood, but Paul didn't take that step. Instead, he stayed here in Canada, did theater at the Stratford Festival, directed and starred in the film Men With Brooms, was part of the cult hit, one of my favorite Canadian shows ever, Slings and Arrows. But let's get to the war epic. Now Paul set out to make this film 10 years ago, so you had to know there was a real moment of joy for him when it opened last fall at the Toronto International Film Festival. Passchendaele, a war film about the Battle of Passchendaele Ridge. The picture cost $20 million to make. Paul wrote, directed, co-produced, drummed up the money, and starred in the film. You can't leave us strung out here. You're 800 with just a company, 60 guys. You want me to stay, you're gonna have to shoot me. Beat it.